Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Nuck, and welcome back to Lunch Break on Nucka TV. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about today was a little bit of a channel update, and then I'll get right into the lunch break after that. First update I want to give you is on Playing Dead. Season 2 is now starting. I'm going to upload it onto NUCA TV next week, Monday, January the 9th. If you can't wait and you got to see the episode now, it is over on Yaosh. I will um, leave a link to the video down below. And uh, that's not the format that I'm going to continue to use with Playing Dead. But occasionally this season, I'm going to do that and air it on Yaosh first in order to throw some of my traffic their way and in order to expose some of the Yaosh subscribers to Playing Dead and hopefully bring them on over to NUCKA TV and have them become a part of the NUCKA Nation. Next topic I wanted to discuss are the Kobe 7 Year of the Dragon Edition shoes systems. They like to call it a system. Um... This is a really hot shoe color. I like it a lot. I like what it symbolizes. Um, basically, on the Chinese Zodiac, this year is the year of the dragon. And Nike is releasing four shoes. I believe some Jordans, some Kevin Durant's, I think some either Nike Dunks or Air Force One Lows. I'm not exactly sure. And the Kobe Bryant 7s. Nike is releasing those four shoes in this uh, Year of the Dragon theme, and they're all unique in their own special way, and uh, me being a Kobe Bryant fan, you know I'm going to get them, so I have an unboxing uh, planned here on Nucka TV for that, and uh, I'm not quite sure when the release date is, they've, they've made it official though, Nike's made it official, and I believe it's coming this month. So uh, that should be pretty cool. Hopefully I can uh, get my hands on a pair of those and add that to my Kobe collection. So keep an eye out for that and I'll keep you updated on Twitter. Uh, next thing I wanted to talk about was just uh, gameplay on my channel. And I do plan on having a uh, gameplay commentary coming uh, this week, this weekend, sorry. Um, I'm gonna try to knock those out on the weekends and uh, bring those to you every weekend. Um, it might be a uh, doing it live. It might be a uh, nakataj. It might be a director's cut. Um, you know, it could be tons of different things. Um, any one of those things. So just keep an eye out for it. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to do, you know, um, a constant amount of gameplay for you guys along with the Playing Dead. Because uh, I know that's probably the main reason why you come to the channel, uh, if not these lunch breaks. So I just wanted to update you with that and let you know that this isn't a pure vlogging channel. Um, also, I want to update you all on the project that I have uh, underway with FD Chick. I am actually supposed to be getting some material to review uh, later this evening. And I'm pretty much just going to review it, see if I have anything I can add to it other than what we've already uh, talked about. And hopefully we can get all that done um, by this weekend as well. So cross your fingers. Keep an eye out for that. I will keep you posted. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do it. And uh, last, I wanted to talk about yesterday's segment, um, the Would You Rather. I had a lot of fun doing that. I definitely want to keep it up and make that a staple in the lunch breaks. My goal is to um, have that as it was suggested to me by Diggity, um, have that um, every Wednesday. So we could tag that as the Would You Rather Win Would You Rather Wednesdays. So uh, I like that. It's definitely going to be a part of lunch break for sure. And, um, you know, that all depends on you guys. It, you, it's whatever you submit. You all make that show. Whatever questions you submit uh, as far as, you know, Would You Rather that's what I'm going to do in the best, you know, five to six, whatever, however many we could fit in a, uh, you know, a, a decent time frame. That's what we're going to roll with. So uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. And if you think of any of them, you know, it doesn't matter what video it's on. Um, just leave them in the comments below or hit me on Twitter with them. And I'll definitely write them down. And like I said, the best ones will definitely make it to the show. 
speaking of Twitter, before I get into lunch break, it's real important that you all follow me on Twitter because if you are one of the people that want to see Playing Dead right now and are immediately going to jump to the link uh, as soon as this lunch break is over, or right now, if you haven't already, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you would know that the Playing Dead was up already over on Yaush, and you, know, you wouldn't have had to wait for this announcement. It's been up all week. And um, the next time that happens, if you're following me on Twitter, you'll know. So I really encourage all of you, each and every one of you, to follow me on Twitter. And I really interact a lot with subscribers on Twitter. It's just a great platform for that. And uh, I enjoy it, man. A lot of you guys that follow me on Twitter that are subscribed to my channel are awesome people. You're great. You know, I, I call you friends, you know, on Twitter. You're my tweeps. And uh, I love having those conversations and I always have my phone with me. So anytime, you know, I get a tweet directed at me nine times out of 10, I'm going to see it right away and respond. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you only have Facebook, I do have that option available. But unfortunately, I'm not quite as active on Facebook, um, not even close as active on Facebook as I am on Twitter. So. It's a platform, but it's not a very dependable one. I very seldomly check it. So anyways, let's hop into this lunch break, man. Um, why come I come across a lot of YouTubers, it's like every YouTuber that's a director, and they complain about dead subscribers. I used to complain about it, but then I sat back and I looked at it and I thought about it, man, and... Just, just try to feel me on this. We were all subscribers at one point, right? And what did we do with our favorite YouTube channels? We watched them. We waited edge on seat um, for them to, for our favorite directors to release these videos. You know, every week or every every other day or whatever. We hung on to it, and they always left us wanting more. So we were always. Just like, you know, right there waiting for the next show and waiting for the next show, and waiting for the next show. We would, as soon as they would upload it, we watched it. Well, as time grew on, I mean, most people here on YouTube have aspirations to be a director. And as you all know that when you become a director, when you start uploading videos and putting time into what you do, you lose time. And that time you used to use to watch all those videos you kind of put it into your your channel I mean that time is used if you are a um, excuse me I'm sorry if you're a video game uh, director that time is used to play those games to find that gameplay that you want to post on your channel so you don't quite have that time and um, I'll, I'll do myself as an example I am a subscriber to Epic Mealtime Freddie Wong Kev Jumba, Nika Higa, Tim De La Ghetto, all those cats, I subscribe to them. And they're huge, very successful YouTubers, each and every one of them that I named. Even FPS Russia, I, I subscribe to him. I was watching them faithfully, religiously. Every video that they uploaded, I watched this within the hour that they uploaded it. I would watch it, and uh, I did that probably for a good two or three months. And as I started to focus on my channel, you know, it, I would still watch every video they released, but it wasn't right, you know, in, within the hour they released it or uploaded it. Sometimes, you know, it'd be later in the week. Well, as time progressed, that, uh, you know, time got bigger and bigger, that gap. Sometimes it'd be two weeks before I'd watch it. Sometimes, you know, it'd be three weeks. And I actually went a whole month without watching any of those videos because I was concentrating on my own channel um, trying to watch some of my uh, other friends this, you know some uh, some other smaller channels I was watching their videos and meeting new people and all that stuff so after that month or two that I didn't watch those other channels the Freddie Wong's and the epic mail times and all that I went back and just had a weekend where I said I'm gonna catch up on everything and that's exactly what I did but for that whole two months I was in the category of being a dead subscriber so just because just because excuse me wow had some ice in there just because you don't have 
that blazing um, view count that you might have had a month ago, it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't mean that you have dead subscribers. Just people, you know, um, people have other things to do. And a, a lot of people, you know, were in high school. They had time to do, you know, watch our videos and stuff. And then they graduate. They got to get a job and go into the real world, world. They don't have that time anymore. So you got to keep that in mind and, and just be understanding. I, I've seen a lot of people where they've cleaned out their subs and they're like, you know, if you're a loyal subscriber, if you're not a dead sub, then you'll come back to me. And I don't agree with that because of the circumstances I just gave you. So just kind of think about that the next time you're kind of feeling down in the dumps. I mean, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be spurts where you're getting view counts like crazy and likes like crazy and all that stuff. And there's going to be other spurts where you're not getting it. And it, it, it's okay as long as you push you know the 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 content out and put the same quality in it if not better than you've always done you have nothing to worry about because eventually nine out of ten of those subscribers will go back and watch all the videos they missed so just give them a chance it'll balance out you know um just last week i had uploaded a video and i think i had gotten like 200 views within an hour and I was it was a really good week for me and then this week it's been kind of slow you know um actually it wasn't last week because I was on holiday so um the week before I took a break on everything you know I was on fire with the views and then this week it slowed down a little bit but you know that's gonna happen so you know I just wanted to say don't get frustrated with that with the view count don't get so obsessed with it just make the videos because that's what you like to do and stop complaining about it because once you complain about it and keep complaining and get frustrated about it it becomes a job and it becomes stressful and that's not the point of this the point is just making videos because it's fun you're going to entertain people who cares if you only get 50 views i mean you shouldn't be trying to get paid from this if you're a small channel you know work your way up and eventually yeah maybe it will turn into something where you could do it as a full-time job but that's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of time invested nothing's gonna happen overnight so you know that's all I really got to say about that I just noticed a lot of people were complaining about it and making videos and you know just take a second step back relax take a deep breath and just chill and it'll all balance out just check your stats at the end of the month and you know maybe they will drop because like I said I missed the whole month of epic meal time I missed the whole month of Freddie Wong and uh, the next month I went back and I'm pretty sure I put him back on track so you know don't trip about it you know you're gonna gain if you're good at what you do you're gonna gain your subs and they're gonna watch your videos and if they don't then they don't on to the next one on to the next video you know, use that as fuel to burn that fire for you to just create even better content. So that's my message to everybody. I just wanted to throw my two cents in there and uh, just, you know, try to be a little more understanding. You know, the, subs, the subscribers have things to do, too. They got a life, too. You know, and you were once a subscriber as, as I was. I'm still a subscriber. You know what I mean? I still go out and watch a ton of videos. So uh, I just don't have the same amount of time that I used to have because right now I'd be watching a video, but I'm doing a lunch break. So you got to kind of remember that stuff and think about that. So this is your boy Jay Nuck. Um, curious to know how y'all feel about this subject matter. Leave them in the comments below. Hit me on Twitter, y'all. Hit me on Twitter and let's talk about this. You know what I mean? It's, I'm just curious to know what anybody else thinks or if you feel me on this and you know, maybe you agree, maybe you agree, maybe you won't. And that's cool. That's all goody. All right, it's your boy Jay Nuck. I'll see y'all tomorrow on lunch break. Peace. Yo, man, it's a wrap. Let's wrap it on up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lunch break is over. I gotta get back to work. What? Nah, they see it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. They see it below in the Facebook below that, and then uh, pin my channel. Yeah, it's on my main channel page. You dig? Yeah, let's go, man. Peace.